Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought that um, as we now just hit the beginning of August, it'd be time to do um, an update on fruit set on uh, some of my, or initial fruit set on some of my larger pineapple guavas or fijoas. So, um, <clears throat> because now you can start, you can see them start to swell. So we're going to have a quick look at the mammoth first. So you can see that some of these fruits have definitely uh, have definitely set okay. Start to swell. Noticeably, there's more here. Now, last year, this mammoth, I think, only had about mm, two or three flowers on it, and they were quite late in the season. It didn't flower, I don't think, until July. So the two or three fruits I got in sort of October, November were actually pretty small. <clears throat> now this has been flowering quite heavily since um, sort of end of June, beginning of July. So this year, I think you can see it's got quite a lot of flower fruits developing on it. Now there are fruits or flowers on it that are small and may not develop properly. You can see that one there that may drop off, could not possibly not been pollinated. It might also be simply a late flower that came out after the others but there's a fair number of fruits i would say that have definitely set well they have set and they're growing quite nicely now i mean at the moment i would say i can see at least sort of a dozen fruits on it possibly more which is really satisfying as i haven't had a mammoth to taste properly yet um Certainly the size at the moment suggests they're going to be like a large, they should get up to a large egg size by the end of October. And if we have a look at the Triumph as well, <coughs> excuse me, the Triumph also has had a reasonable fruit set. What I might do is, um, I have a tendency because they're still young plants, when I get one where it's got uh, three embryo fruits on it. I shall probably take the middle one of the three off in the next um, week or so. They normally self-thin themselves anyway. But um, it's now starting to develop quite, uh, developing quite well. Not as quickly as the, not as quickly as a mammoth as it happens. This one, although it started flowering earlier seems to be a little bit behind on the fruit swelling might be a problem with the very dry weather we've been having <coughs> excuse me my voice is a bit hoarse today might be to do with the dry weather we've been having that's been possibly holding back the fruits from swelling and there's no doubt about it where it's got like two or three fruits like that i'm actually going to pull this this middle one off because that is just going to stop the other two oh, easy said than done pinching it off didn't want to come off but that little fruit there i don't think it's going to develop properly and it'll hold these other two back anyway so that's my um triumph um has got a fair number of fruits on it but as i said they're definitely behind the mammoth in terms of swelling at the moment and that could be due to the drought we're having um, they've had plenty of flowers on the two that I repotted in spring <coughs> and they're still actually covered it's still absolutely covered in flowers the first one here is that's Nikita um, still got loads of flowers on it but some of the initial flowers do seem to be swelling and I've also had loads of flowers on the one next to it which is unique and I'm hoping that they've obviously been cross-pollinating each other because I've sort of given up on hand pollinating them now due to lack of time but they've had plenty of flowers on them so I'm pretty sure they'll cross-pollinate each other but so far the mammoth is looking the most promising this year so I'm really hopeful that I'll have a few decent fruits to uh, to try on this one and film in October November so that's some of my pineapple guavas some of them are only just starting into growth now so I don't know if they're going to flower but they'll probably be far too late to set fruits but at least they're putting on some growth which is useful 
Anyway, I thought I'd do a, an update on them as I hadn't done a full update on my uh, own ones for a little while. Thank you for watching the video, much appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. And welcome to share the video. Subscribe to my channel. And remember to click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.